you want us to believe you yeah definitely give us some words that we can look on upon it and say okay so we are believing in village boy all right so there is a saying that saying is believing yeah all right and uh, ever since I began this advocacy, I've had uh, some NGOs that came on board. We collaborated. Okay, so can so, we hear those NGOs? So like Smart Ghana. Oh, don't you want to hear it? <laughs> <laughs> so like Smart Ghana Foundation, a team oh. of students from various universities across the country, Ghana here. Yeah. They visited my community with health professionals. Uh, professionals. So they did free health screening for the people. Oh. They donated items to the people. And also one of my friends, he also donated school bags. Wow. And then... Uh, Bra Prince, Prince Summer Foundation, we donated uh, school uniforms mm. to the people in my community. And then um, I've been interviewed by DJ on Himawiyaja on Angel F F FM. Okay. And then um, Angel TV2 also came to my community. Wow. And then ATL FM, I've been on the, oh in, on the, my on the God. station. <laughs> and then um, Class FM in my district, Asasawa. Okay. Yeah, I've also been there. So I think these things will should tell you that I am genuine. Exactly. All right? So you can watch those videos exactly. and know that this guy is really you know truthful honest with what he's actually doing yeah hello guys you're welcome to another exciting episode on the village boy my name is faustina dodu aka nashika baby yes we're going to give you all the gist that you need to know about the village boy without much ado let's invite mr Nati John Tete, aka the Village Boy. He is the brain behind the Village Boy. The Village Boy. Yeah. I know that your zeal is to help your village at Kumisi exactly. Am I right? Exactly. Yes. Right. So we just want to know who is the Village Boy. All right. So Village Boy. My real name is Nati John Tete. My Village Boy is my stage name. I'm from Akumisi Okay. Yeah. A typical Village Boy. Uh -huh. A typical cottage. I would say cottage. Yeah. <laughs> And um, past student of the University of Cape Coast, currently serving with Confucius Institute. Yeah. Wow. And an advocate for Akuma and Sweetie. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, so, what are what, what the inspires you? Why did you just um, take this upon yourself? So you're going to help your village, your schools, mm. these poor roads, infrastructure, and all that. Like, did you just wake up in the, in the morning and just say, okay, I'm going to, or it was just your dream? Actually, it wasn't my dream to even come to the university, finish school, go back to the community to, you know, support. But okay. when I was in the village, you know, the exposure wasn't there okay. until I came to the University of Cape Coast. And I realized I've seen so many developments here. I've, I've been working with friends like who are very knowledgeable and per what they've been sharing, the ideas they share with me and uh, the uh, kind of life they expect to see in the future. I also mm. decided that, well, if that's the case, why don't I go back to my community and assist them, like uh, spearhead this whole advocacy so that the things that we lack in the community can actually okay. be provided. Mm. But one, one month changed my whole, um, what do you call it? let me say it changed my mind okay. and this man was not met before but he supported me from level 100 to four till 400 till i graduated from the university of cape coast okay. it's called papa jerry and i've not met him in person and um, both financially and then the advices that he gave to me i was really impressed wow. and that actually gave me the edge to start this kind of advocacy because okay. if someone i've not met before is doing this kind of work what can i also do to support so okay. that's that's the the, where the inspiration you know came from and then oh. the exposure i got from the university of cape coast here yeah. wow yeah so university of cape coast hmm. actually triggered that yeah desire exactly okay that's, exactly. that's that's really so who did you really confide in actually like the first time it got into your head is who, who, who were you able to tell i couldn't tell anyone okay. and uh it's you know, when you are from the village and those in the cities got to know that you are from village, they have that kind of, they stereotype you, that kind of stigma, yeah. right? So, uh, it, when that, that idea came to mind, I pondered over it. I I mean, I've been thinking about it too. How am I going to even come out? It's not yeah, easy. It, it is not easy. <laughs> How am I going to come out to tell my friends? You know, those from the cities, those that you see that their parents are like, they are doing well for themselves. It's kind of crazy. Hmm. So. 
uh it was really tough for me yes. I, I must say that it was really tough for me so when i came out told my 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 class that is my pro, my program mates about mm. my whole this whole initiative mm. like and i even told them that they should now address me by village boy somewhere like you know your father gave you your real name, name. and you want village boy so it's like everyone despises village like, village <laughs> lifestyle they just do not want to know <laughs> yeah they so just do not want to accept they don't that just want to exactly so like, it's it's kind of crazy so i didn't confide in anyone it's i would say myself <laughs> and then the almighty <laughs> <laughs> oh my god yeah. it has been a great yep, conversation yeah. and i know that you are also enjoying it's mm. the village boy and we have to know what exactly goes into the village boy so he is saying that he got the inspiration from ucc uh-huh and then uh, one, one man for five year do yeah okay that's yes. that's that's really and has anybody told you your thought no one has ever told me that or so i've not had an encounter of that sort because yeah people that wants to advocate for their uh, mm. villages or whatever um uh, what's the name children on the street yeah children on the maybe street. widows and all that you know some people take that advantage mm. to do the, the worst yeah yeah true yes yeah, so right now the real and genuine people you don't you don't even like you have that kind of heart TV exactly exactly you know that this is not real exactly i can Ghana I, we day Ghana, Ghana we day so <laughs> <laughs> i you can i can i can even share a story with you okay you know through this advocacy i've been creating videos you know i i try to leverage on a social media platform too mm. i mean uh, make this whole thing big so that a lot of people across the world can actually know what's happening in my community mm. so there was this woman from uk and um she watched my video she was you know really touched to support me and was like well she she ha she did some kind of investigations right she called me and then we spoke and then she told me that um you know there are a lot of people who are like you said fosters mm -hmm. out there <laughs> who are not being like who cannot be trusted and so she called me and then we had a conversation you know around this whole thing and she said that i should keep up with the good way i should make sure i remain you know truthful and yes, honest in yes. all my endeavors and i think that's the only only thing um you know an encounter i had with her and so many um uh, words of encouragement coming from people who watches my videos wow. uh, you know yeah uh, so with that that woman is a blessing to me because wow. she ever since she told me that and no, i've not made my mind like to dupe anyone okay. because me uh, there was one time she even sent me money to buy some gadget and wow I, I wasn't getting the gadget so it came to mind that me i want to remain truthful in everything i do wow. and so because we are not able to get the gadget on time i it came to mind that i would even like i, I want to even send the money back to her wow. i don't want to keep it so whatever you give to me i make sure that there should be transparency exactly so that people will know exactly the, what, what the money is used yes. for ah so those are some of the things that i try to do because this work can actually make you and you know, make you it make you yeah. yeah people can destroy you they can say a whole lot of things and you know social media social media is there can, forever is and whatever for, you post is there, is forever. there forever <laughs> <laughs> i know right yeah, so yeah. um you want us to believe you yeah definitely <laughs> <laughs> you want us to believe you, you want and, us to help you yeah so just give us some words that we can look on, upon it and say okay so we are believing in village boy all right so there is a saying that he is believing yeah all right and uh, ever since i began this advocacy i've had uh, some ngos that came on board we collaborated okay so can so, we hear those ngos so like smart Ghana, oh don't you want to hear it <laughs> <laughs> so like smart Ghana foundation a team oh. of students from various universities across the country ghana here yeah they visited my community with health professionals uh, professionals so they did free health screening for the people oh. they donated items to the people and also one of my friends is all, he also donated school bags wow. and then uh, uh, Brafe and Suma Foundation, we donated uh, school uniforms mm. to the people in my community. And then um, I've been interviewed by DJ Ohimawi Eja on Angel F FM. Okay. And then um, Angel TV2 also came to my community. Wow. And then ATL FM, I've been on the, oh in, in the, my on God. the station. <laughs> and then um, Trust FM in my district, Asisawa. 
Okay. Yeah, I've also been there. So I think these things will should tell you that I am genuine. Exactly. All right. So you can watch those videos exactly. and know that this guy is really, you know, truthful, honest with what he's actually doing. Yeah. <laughs> So if you ask me, what should I say so that people believe me? I, those are the evidences I'm, I'm just exactly, you know, bringing exactly. them out. Exactly. So as you can hear, we have had a lot of help and support from other people diverse, in diverse ways. Mm. So this is the village boy. He's, he is very, very, very genuine. You have to come support us, the schools. Uh, hospitals, the road, the network. road network, poor network, telecommunication. They don't. They don't have uh, the network. The network. I wouldn't say even in poor. It is just <laughs> unavailable. So. <laughs> <laughs> there is no network oh yeah. my god yeah unavailable so anytime i'm in the community creating content i have to work miles to access miles it miles away yeah. in this modern in world. this modern world you can't believe that but it's just i just can't truth. believe it yeah because when you say it, people will not believe it but i mean i, I just want to prove to you that this is what i go through so I have a couple of videos on, on my platform, my YouTube channel, Village Boy. You, you check it out, you see that this guy is truly going around. Oh, yeah. So please, yeah. we need your support. Wherever you are, whether you're an NGO, whether you are an FM station. And I know that some of the TV stations, FM stations, and some organizations even organize all these things for the... Um, for the children on the street. Yeah. They, yeah. So, please... We are the village boy. Akumesu Yeti. Yes, we are all for it. So if you have any support, any funding, please reach out to us. So can you mention your handles for us? All right. So my with my Facebook is not a John Tete. I have the village boy to there. Okay. And then the name Akumesu Yeti is also it's also on the platform on Facebook. All okay. right. I have a page for it. So okay. you can check it out. On X2, that is Twitter, formerly Twitter. Mm -hmm. I'm also there. That is Village Boy on YouTube. And then on Instagram, Nate John Tete. On um, TikTok, it's uh, Nate John Tete. And then on YouTube, it's Village Boy. And the boy, the, the, this is the trick, you know, boy is spelled different. Yes. So as you can see, I'm having the, 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 the boy branded, here, like the boy. The boy. So B W O U R. Boy. 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 You know? <laughs> <laughs> it yeah. has been so exciting, so enjoying, so mm. fun talking to you village boy i'm super thank super, you. super excited thank, thank you, you so, so much, much. <laughs> yeah, I'm super, super so grateful. we are going to end up here yes we'll meet you next time don't forget to subscribe like share and comment whatever comment that you have we are here to reply you thank you so much for your love we'll see you bye bye village boy yeah. <laughs>